that time of year again, almost Christmas. It's my favorite time of year between celebrating Christ's birth and ice fishing season. It just really doesn't get much better. So I'm here to walk you guys through the different price points. Um, first thing is jigs. When you're ice fishing, those fish are so finicky, they like those little tiny jigs. So the smaller the better. Go small, 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 small. You can see this fits right in the little tiny cap. So that's all the smaller, all the bigger you really want to go. You can go a little smaller than that, but don't go a whole lot bigger than that. Tungsten is super important in the ice fishing world. Here's a general idea of all the ones I like. Another thing, since we got this out right now, this is a nice little case. It's super small, fits in your pocket, which is super nice for when you're running and gunning. It's nice and compact, but yet it holds a lot of stuff, and you can see it's so nice. The clearer the glass or plastic, the better. This one's made by Clam. I found this one had some of the clearest plastic I found, and I just loved it. Another thing in this price point is, it sounds boring, but every fisher person, they need to change their line. It's really important every year to change their line. Go with either Berkeley or Suffolk. They make a lot of good stuff as long as it's ice fishing. But the big thing is people are always like, well, what poundage do you use? So a good overall consensus, get a Suffolk or a Berkeley ice fishing line in four pounds. This sounds really boring, but when you're ice fishing, your feet get so cold. So really good socks. But when I say really good socks, I only mean one brand. They're called heat holders. But they're so thick and they're so comfortable. It's like pillows for your feet. But more importantly, it keeps them really warm. Another thing, since we're on the warmth side of things, Under Armour. You want Under Armour if you're ice fishing exclusively outside of the shack and stuff. So get some Under Armour. It's not cheap. I know it's always changing if you find some deals. Probably 50 to 80 bucks for a top and 50 to 80 bucks for a bottom. You want to get the 4.0 because that stuff is the warmest. So this one is probably my number one heavy hitter for this year. Um, I would go, it's made by 13 Fishing, a really nice ice fishing rod, like super nice. 13 Fishing Tickle Stick. They come in different strengths, so again, for an overall consensus, you're going to want to get a light. I think, and that's just the amount of strength it takes to bend that rod. A light is a really good sweet spot, I believe, but it's just a really, really nice rod. But if you look, okay, it's round, 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 like a typical uh, ice fishing pole, but then it actually gets flat. And the reason they do that is because this flatness allows us to just be a lot more sensitive so you can get those finicky fish. And oh, they come in different lengths. Um, I like mine in 27 inch lengths. Like you'll get those for 50 bucks. Sounds like a lot of money, but you give a tickle stick to somebody that loves ice fishing, they are going to be ecstatic. So, all right, another thing. This one is a pretty big hitter, I think, in the ice fishing world that's a decent price point for an ice fishing reel. It's made by PC Fun. These reels are awesome. But you want to get the Carbon X. You see this one? It says Carbon X 1000. Preferably get the Carbon X 500. 500 and 1,000, they're two different sizes. The 500 is the more standard overall size. It's right around 70 bucks. It's a beautiful black reel. These are a nice filler. They're about $3. They're called Swedish Pimples. Um, get the smallest size. This is about as small as they get. Uh, it doesn't matter so much what color you get as it's just smaller, Swedish Pimples. If you're a person that ice fishes a lot, goes ice fishing, and they got nice ice fishing rods such as that tickle stick, these, cases are really nice. This one's made by Eagle Claw. It's a little more lower end. This is really big. Hopefully you can see everything. Um, it's still $70 though. Cause some of those cases, they get up there in a few hundred dollar range. I like this one. I'd highly recommend it for the price point. Typically, you find an ice fisher person and they got a favorite brand. You know, you got the Clam, you got the Frayville, you got the Eskimo. I'm a huge Eskimo fan. So think about going on those websites and getting them a sweatshirt. You put that on your favorite brand, whatever it is, whether it's Clam or Eskimo. Like I said, Eskimo is my favorite. It just makes you just feel like, yeah, I'm ready to go fishing. Let's do this. So maybe consider some apparel on their favorite brand. If you're willing to spend some money, um, they make floater suits. Floater suits are meant for when you're walking out on the ice. God willing, it never happens. But if you fall through, they're like a life preserver in warm gear. 
This one, Eskimo makes them. They make them by Stryker, Clam. A lot of companies make them. So for like 200, 300 bucks, it's got a real nice lining. I like this Eskimo one. And if you're trying to figure out size wise, this is a medium. It's a little snug on I me, mean, but not too bad. It's a little longer, but I'm a five foot eight man. I weigh right around 170 pounds. That's a really nice jacket, but it's not so much the particular jacket as it's about the flotation to save somebody. These are flotation device snow pants. So they're a little pricey, depending on the brands, probably between 150 and 300 bucks based off of what you get. If you only get them one, I would recommend snow pants. It's typically when you're walking around on the ice, you get so hot, you end up taking the coat part off. An underwater camera. You get them an underwater camera, they're probably gonna shed tears of joy, jump up and down and say Merry Christmas to you. Aquaview, they make lots of different brands. I know some stuff is like, oh, well, I like this brand, I like that brand. No, nope. you get a camera for somebody, Aquaview all the way. Their lighting is always better, for my opinion. I would recommend the Revolution because it's a really nice size. You can either get the Revolution Pro or just the Revolution. The Revolution is 369, the Pro is 469. 469 allows you basically you're just upgrading so that you can there's a little record button on there so you can record the fish while they're down there and that's a pretty cool feature but the overall consensus of the best gift for the best price point the tickle stick by 13 fishing i hope that helped you i hope you have a very wonderful merry christmas god bless you and uh, may christ fill your life thank you